Which number lies halfway between one fifth and two fifths? Well, we know that the number halfway between one and two is one and a half, but we can't write one and a half fifths because we can't have a fraction within a fraction. But what we can do is find equivalent fractions for both one fifth and two fifths. The next num multiple of five is 10, so we can change one fifth and two fifths into tenths. Five times two is 10, one times two is two, five times two is 10, two times two is four. So now that we know that one fifth is the same as two tenths and two fifths is the same as four tenths, we can see that the number right in the middle, the number that lies halfway between them, must be three tenths. So we can show fraction bars for one fifth and two fifths, and we wanted the number halfway between them. So we can show a fraction bar, and you can see what's shaded is halfway between our top and bottom fraction bars. But that's three tenths, and the way we found that was we changed one fifth into two tenths, two fifths into four tenths, so we could see that three tenths was right in the middle. So which number lies halfway between two thirds and three quarters? Well here, we need to find equivalent fractions. The lowest common multiple of three and four is 12, so we can find fractions equivalent to two thirds and to three quarters, which both have a denominator of 12. Three times four is 12, two times four is eight. Four times three is 12, three times three is nine. Now we know that right in the middle or halfway between eight and nine, we have eight and a half. But again, we can't write eight and a half over 12 as our answer because we don't usually have fractions within fractions. So instead, rather than using the lowest common multiple of three and four, let's use a different, larger common multiple. 24 is in the three and the four times tables, so let's find equivalent fractions which have a denominator of 24. Three times eight is 24, two times eight is 16, four times six is 24, and three times six is 18. Now, we know the number in the middle of 16 and 18 is 17, so that must be 17 over 24, right in the middle or halfway between two thirds and three quarters. And we can show the fraction bars for two thirds and three quarters, and a fraction bar right in the middle. That's 17 over 24, and the way we worked it out was by changing 2 thirds into 16 over 24, and 3 quarters into 18 over 24, so we could see that 17 over 24 must be right in the middle or halfway between those fractions. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.